What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Trick 10s. Today we are working on the 1032. This is the tiny mini Yenny Tenny. It's the second boat build that I'm doing with Ryan Yen, AKA Fisher Yen. And this thing is going to be insane. It's so small, but it's going to be very over the top with all the stuff that's going into it. So we got a lot of work to do guys. This boat's going to have an entire deck in it. Hatches everywhere. If you guys haven't seen part one, go check out part one because you're not really going to know exactly where we're at. And we ripped the front deck out of here and tore a bunch of stuff out. I'm getting ready to start gutting this thing because we got all types of steel and old rivets and electrical in here that are just not what we want to have in the Yenny Tenny. So I'm going to get all this stuff cleared out. And we're going to start with a completely blank canvas. Then I can start welding up some of these holes and framing and figuring out all the layout for this thing and what it's going to look like i did clean up the garage guys finally it has been a nightmare moving is something that i don't wish on my worst enemy i mean i didn't realize how much stuff i had until i started moving and then i'm like yeah well what am i gonna do with all this stuff i moved into a bigger house and somehow all of my stuff still didn't fit i threw away a ton of stuff got rid of a lot of stuff but look at the shop it's looking good guys this new shop is awesome. It's 24 foot by 28 foot, and it gives me around 670 square foot of working space. I got a lot more room in here than I had in my garage before. Got a crane over here. That's pretty cool. And I'm gonna have a lot more room for stores for metal and all that kind of stuff. But I'm excited, guys. I mean, I have never had a shop like this at home to work out of. I mean, look at all this. This is pretty dope, right? I've never been this organized. Look how long that table is. We can build some stuff over here. I'm pretty positive I can build some stuff on that thing. And look inside of here. All these wrenches, everything's nice and organized. I bought bins. Good idea. Buy bins if you want to do this, because that way you can just label everything. You need it. You just grab the whole bin, pull it out. Pretty cool idea. I'm glad that I did that because that saved me a lot of space and all my stuff's organized. This is probably the first time in my adult life that I have been this organized and I'm pretty pumped about it. I think it's going to help with productivity and it's going to help me on speed for sure. It's got to help with speed because if I know where my stuff is and I put it back where it was, the next time I need it, it should be in the same spot. At least that's the theory. We'll see how it works out. Anyways, guys, I'm pumped about doing this project. I got another boat that I'm bringing home tomorrow too. And that's a cool thing about having two bays. One, two, I can fit two boats in here. Now the other boat is a 1448 Monarch. So that one's not very big either. And I should be able to fit both these boats in here. And that boat has been sitting for a minute. I have put that thing on the back burner because I've been so busy with all this move and renovating the house that I just did not have room for it or time to even think about working on it. So I got all the hatches for that boat already at the powder coat. They're done. I'm picking them up tomorrow. I'm going to bring them home with that boat. I'm going to start working on that boat. In the meantime, tonight, I'm going to go ahead and gut this thing down to the bear hole. Then I'm going to frame it. I hope you guys are ready. This is going to be pretty interesting. Let's get right into it. All right, so here we go. This is Tiny Tim, the mini Yenny Tenny. Now, we got to take all this wood off of here. I mean, this it's pointless. We're not going to be using any of that. What in God's name is that noise? Oh, we got a fridge. That was an ice maker. I'm not used to that thing. That's the old fridge I had next door, an old shop, but... Now we have an ice maker hooked up. We got water and ice in here. Pretty dope. Anyways, back to the mini tinny over here. This is the smallest boat we've ever built. Now it's got a lot of steel in here. This is trash. Got to go. We got to get all this out of here. Clean this thing up really good. I'm going to cut a hole in here. I'm going to throw a hatch in there. I'm going to put a floor in here and put a hatch in there. I'm going to put a hatch over here. Got to get rid of these horse stall mats because, I mean, that's just ugly and it stinks. And then up here, I'm going to put probably a big hatch, foot pedal tray. Simple. I mean, there's not a lot of room. There's only so much we can do. So that's the game plan. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to get all this old electrical out of here, clean this whole thing up real good. I'm going to cut a hole in here and there, get that ready to go for the drop in hatches. I'm going to get the steel out of here and I'm going to frame all this. So if I can get this frame, the back frame and those two holes cut tonight, I think we'll be in business. I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on the hyperlapse and I'm going to get started tearing all this stuff out of here. Get back to work.
All right, so the Yenny Tinny is stripped down bare naked. Uh, it sounds a little weird, but it's empty and it wasn't terrible. I cut these hatches out to be 24 inches wide. The reason I did that is because then it will still leave him a space over here on the side where he can lay his fishing rods. I mean, the whole boat's only 10 foot long. So his rods are pretty much gonna take up the entire side panel over here. And I wanted to leave enough space for him to lay rods up here. Now I'm gonna come back and build some type of sidewall up here and over there. That way the rods can run all the way up. And when we come in here, we'll have the same thing with the hatch here, it's gonna be 24 inches. And then up here in the same area up here, we'll have another hatch to be 24 inches. Now you can see that with a 24 inch hatch, you can still easily reach into this corner. I mean, it only hangs over about four or five inches. So it's gonna work out perfectly like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and start framing off of here with an angle, off of here with an angle, connect this front deck to this middle bench. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna frame from this back bench to the transom. I still gotta tear all this wood out of here. I'm gonna get that done in a second. It took me about an hour to rip everything out of here. Good news is that the foam that was in here isn't like all the newer tracker foam. It was just styrofoam stuff. So you just chop this up like a drywall saw or some type of a sawzall or a long blade. It's pretty easy to get out. And there is the original precious Yenny Tinny right there in the trash can where all of that crap belongs because now we have a beautiful wide open canvas. We're gonna get started framing this thing out right now. Let's get back to work. All right, so I didn't get everything I wanted to get done last night, but I did make a lot of progress. I mean, there's a lot is in here now. Everything's cleared out, ready to go. We got our holes here, our hole here, and all that wood and everything off the transom is gone. And I got some framing in here. Now I'm gonna play around with this. I brought a foot pedal tray home, and I'm gonna figure out how far up I wanna put that. Cause I might cut into this, take some of this out, and then throw another frame piece across here. I really don't want to put anything from here down. I don't think I'm going to need to. I am going to come back and put a piece of like one inch square tubing across here on this side. Same thing on the other side. I'm probably going to drop a hatch in here that comes up somewhere in this area. I don't know, maybe a little bit farther. I'm going to make it as big as possible because that's his biggest storage spot here. Basically the same way the one that we put in the original Yen Tin was it opened up on some big pistons. If we can put a big one in here, then I'm all for it. I need to get this finished up though so I can get these hatches started. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start framing this little piece I need on either side of this. I'm gonna play around with that foot pedal tray. These hatches are already set in stone. That's ready to go. And I do need to mount this angle back here on the back side of this, like that. That way I can start framing from this bench back to the transom. Now I need to do something with that transom too because he's got some pitting and oxidization in here and yeah it's not terrible but it's not good i'm gonna clean that up and put some aluminum tubing in there i gotta see what i got because that needs to be pretty beefy and you know, that's gonna hold the transom up and the wood we removed on the back well this is why i don't like putting wood in the boat because it just holds water up against the hull you can see what it does to it and that oxidization it's basically cancer i mean that's what it is it's cancer for aluminum boats. So we gotta get rid of this. There's no way to fix it without removing it. So it must be removed. I'm gonna grind it down, sand it down, wipe it down, hit it with some aluminum stripper, and hopefully it'll clean up all right. But I did bring home another boat. This thing's kind of sick. Uh, it's been sitting for a minute. I gotta wrap this one up too. So I'm gonna get this framing done and then we're going to hop back on to this one right here for a couple episodes, try to wrap this thing up in the next two weeks. Then we'll get back to the Yen 10. But this thing's pretty dope, man. It's got all these white hatches back. And 
obviously you can see why I got to get the hatches done for the end tin because once I get them done, got to send them off to powder cutters. That's how they come back. But we don't have a ton left to do to this. All the metal work's done. The boat is stripped down to bare aluminum. So we're going to clean this thing up, paint the boat, do all the wiring, hook up the trolling motor and graphs and LED lights. And then we're going to install all these hatches permanently and turf it all the way. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Back to what we're doing though. I'm going to put you guys back on the hyperlapse and it's time to get back to work. All right, so we made some progress. This looks sick now. We got this figured out and laid out. Now, what I'm gonna do with this is these hatches I put in here, they still need to have hinges and stuff put into them. I brought them home basically so that I can figure out how it's gonna be laid out. You can see it's just lids. Still gotta weld the corners, put stiffeners in here. Probably gonna put some type of a lifts in here for the hydraulic supports, but it turned out sick. And the way this foot pedal tray works, it cuts into this existing front bench. That's probably what he needs. I'm gonna have to come back and add some type of piece up here, support the trolling motor we're gonna install up here. But I think it's turned out dope. And what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna sheet this. I'm gonna run this sheet up here so it ends up flush with this deck. So the trolling motor tray can be removable. That way, if he needs to get in here and access wires or anything, he'll be able to remove the foot pedal tray. But everything on this side is gonna run all the way back and over top of this bench because this hatch sits on top of this bench and we don't wanna have a void in here where the turf drops down. It's all gonna be flush all the way back. Same thing with the back bench. Got all this framed in. This looks dope, right? It looks killer. The only mistake I made was I was in a hurry on Friday and I just burned this out with a hole cut out for a hatch with a handle, but we're not gonna do a handle like that in here. So it's not a big deal. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna cut some holes on either side of this with a hole saw, and I'm gonna cut this out. I might even take you to the shop and do this on a table because I wanna have a cutout that's gonna go in here. That way he can run transducer cables and stuff like that because I actually found a fish finder I'm gonna put in here. And by doing that, that will allow us to cut through this hatch frame on either side. I'll have plenty of room to open this hatch around the outboard. I did clean out a bunch of stuff from the old house. I still had an entire shed full of boat parts and I found this thing. Uh, this is nothing crazy, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, he didn't want to have a fish finder in here. He didn't have anything to go in here. So we're going to throw this in here. This is a little Garmin Echo map. This is the DV. It's nothing crazy, but it's actually pretty nice. I mean, for what it is, 
that unit is, is dope. You can see a lot of stuff from it. It is a color unit. I'm going to install that for him up here on the side panel, but I got to build the side panel before I can install it on here. I like to throw some cup holders in here, and I really need an area on the side port and starboard that I can hide wires because obviously we're going to have wires for LED lights and fish finders and stuff like that, and I don't just want them to be exposed right here. Everything else from this back deck and the front deck, we can hide wires underneath of there, but from this interior part where the floor drops down, you got to have some type of a side panel. And I think that will come in handy too because he used to be laying his rods up here. And if I just built him like a little catwalk right across here, and not only will it look sick, but it will be functional. He can lay rods on the port and starboard side of the boat, and it will be a good asset to have where he can have his rods laid up here. So we're going to put a fish finder, maybe a cup holder, maybe another cup holder. I don't know. This is like a one person rig. This is basically a yak killer. I mean, if you have a kayak, I'm happy for you, but this thing will uh, pretty much kill your kayak. So I'm going to go ahead and get to framing this in. And tomorrow we're going to build some of these parts in here. Let's get back to work. All right, so we got our main supports figured out for our side panels right here. And I did take measurements for the floor that's gonna go in here. And all of the sheet material is basically gonna finish this off all the way from the transom, all the way up to the front of the boat up here on the bow. And we got little pieces going in here and here. It's gonna be sick. I'm going to build all the rest of this stuff tomorrow, bring this home with me, and we're gonna wrap up pretty much 99% of all the metal work that's going into the Yenny tinny and we're gonna wrap this video up very shortly with all of the metal work and the next episode we're gonna start doing electrical in here painting and turfing the entire rig let's get back to work All right, guys so there it is the yinny tinny looks dope it reminds me a lot of the original yin tin the whole layout i mean a lot of the boats are similar but this one being the square nose and riveted hull it's literally a mini yinny tinny so it looks dope all these hatches are all the same size that helped me with my layout and obviously with making the hatches being the same width now they're different sizes you know from the bow to stern but it turned out sick man now i gotta do a little bit of trimming on all these sheet pieces in here but i'm gonna figure all that out and get them just right before i permanently install them i just wanted to lay everything out so you guys can get a feel for it and i mean that's pretty dope layout i mean i don't think you can get much more into a 10 foot boat obviously i still got to do the floor only reason i didn't do that yet is because i'm not 100 sure how i want to lay this out I'm just not sold on how I want to do that floor yet. So, but now that I got all this figured out, I'm going to go ahead and trim cut all these pieces. I'm going to get these hatches finished up and get these off to the powder coaters. All the hatches and the foot pedal tray are going to be getting powder coated. I'm not going to tell you guys what color because that's going to spoil the whole theme build for you guys. But 
I will tell you that this boat is going to be getting repainted too. And hopefully next episode, I'll have the turf here and I can share some of these colorways with you. Fisher Yen was kind of up in the air about it. He didn't really know what to do with it, but he did pick a color and it's going to be a sick build. The cool thing about it is that it's got Hydro Turf in it from a sponsorship and it is a color you've never seen me use before on the channel. And I love doing colors like that. Anyways, guys, this thing looks dope, right? I mean, this is a true little pond killer, a yak killer. Like, I honestly want to fish out of this thing. Turned out a really sick layout. So what do you think? It's pretty dope for a 10 foot boat, right? I mean, I was a little bit on the fence at first, just like I always am. When I step outside of my box and start doing things that I'm not used to doing, obviously it's a bit of a learning curve, but building this little 10 foot boat was actually pretty cool. Now I am gonna hook him up with both of the motors that are on here. I really wanted to put those on my own rig and this is exactly what I wanted to build. So kind of jelly, I like this thing and I might have to steal it from him every now and then and take this thing out fishing because it's gonna be a cool little boat. I mean, this thing is the type of rig you can literally just pull up to your neighborhood pond and you can take the motors off. Cool thing about the motors is that you can just take them off. They're not gonna be bolted on or anything like that. You don't have to worry about a gas tank. Just put the motor onto the side, take this thing off the trailer by yourself, drag it down, throw it into the little neighborhood pond, put your motors back on. You can go out there and slay, man. This is literally like a dream boat for somebody who wants to do some neighborhood pond fishing, some off-grid, small secluded lakes that you can't get to with a normal boat. I mean, obviously you can take a kayak out there, but this is a whole lot cooler than a kayak. It's gonna have a lot of storage in here and it's gonna look dope. Once we get all the stuff in here, as far as the turf and the paint, decals, LED lights, got some dope lights going in here. You guys know I gotta put lights in this thing. It's gonna be a school rig, man. I'm excited about finishing this thing up and I am really looking forward to see what Fisher Yen does with it because he has changed his channel up dramatically he's doing a lot of cool youtube videos so make sure you guys go check him out man and this thing's gonna be pretty neat for him i think he's gonna have a lot of fun fishing out of it and i can't wait to see where he takes it anyways guys i do appreciate y'all hanging out with me today i hope you guys enjoyed the video on the yinny tinny part three is going to be pretty cool because you're going to get to see the colorway the turf the paint everything is going into this rig i'm hoping to wrap this thing up pretty shortly because i got a lot of other stuff on the books hit that like and subscribe button Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this tiny little rig. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's get back to work.